good morning guys welcome to today's video it's 6 45 so bear with me if i sound like i'm still asleep because i am today's video is going to be a fall diaries episode two and also part two to me decorating a few days ago i think it was like the official first day of fall it does not feel like it outside here it's still extremely hot but that's okay because once you step in my apartment door you would never know it is autumn inside this apartment and I've been keeping the vibes that way. We're gonna do some fun cozy activities. We're gonna finish decorating the apartment. I got the rest of my decor. So I have some book reviews to give you guys. I have a little fall haul of stuff that I ordered. I have my lemon water, my little ghost mug. This one is from Target. Here's my dilemma guys. I want to go do weights. I want to go do a lifting sesh, but I've been so off my gym grind for like the past two and a half weeks. Because of that, um, the past few lifting sessions I've had at the gym have been extremely hard. Like I can just tell my endurance has gone down. So I think today I should do cardio, even though I really don't want to. I'll probably do the Stairmaster. Guys, I tried to do a spooky fit. What do you think? I did self tan. I think it's pretty obvious comparing my face to my body. Making my pre-workout. I'm not saying it's healthy to drink it this early in the morning, but I am saying it helps. But if I am gonna drink it this early, I'll at least try and drink like a good amount of water before. So that way this caffeine is not the first thing I'm drinking. Oh my gosh that was rough let me just say i am so bad at cardio and i definitely feel a bit more out of shape than i was but it's fine we'll get it back basically what i did i made up a little stairmaster workout for myself i did 10 minutes at like a high ish intensity and then for the next 10 minutes i lowered the intensity to kind of recover a bit and then for the last 10 minutes of the 30 i did like the higher intensity again like i picked it back up i'm proud and then i did abs which also just killed me i'm trying to get more like overall core strength not just like abs from like sit-ups like i want to be able to like hold my weight anyways let's go to traders because it just seems appropriate plus i need stuff for breakfast the fall capital of the world, Trader Joe's. Should I take another one, guys? It's a tradition at this point, and in a fall diaries, I take a pumpkin home. Oh my God, look at these cute ones. Okay, let me get a cart. <laughs> Hey guys, time for skincare. I've just showered and we gotta prep the skin. In my last weekly vlog, so many of you were so nice saying that you liked like my natural hair and how it came out when i had styled it that way which was like it really warmed my heart because i was like i feel like sometimes we ourselves are too hard on ourselves and i was like hating my hair that day when i wore it just like wavy and natural which made me realize that there was no reason for me to be that mean to myself that's a reminder to be nice to yourself because no one is going to judge you as hard as you will got a new eye cream this is the youth to the people dream eye cream it's very like balmy i don't know guys i feel like i almost have like a holy grail of everything in my skincare routine except for an eye cream like it's nice if you have a holy grail eye cream let me know what it is Okay guys, before I go make food, I need to put on my little press-on nails. It's the Olive and June ones and I got like this really pretty fall, like this super pretty fall maroon color. It's the shade Obsessed Velvet. So I'm gonna stick these on. I've been super into press-ons lately. I just get these at Target and I really like them. I find the shape and like the fit is one of the best that I've tried so they stay on for like a good 10 to 12 days and they give you like all these extra sizes and stuff so we're gonna do some fall nails I've had this outfit planned in my head so we're gonna see if it comes out the correct way that I'm planning it so I'm thinking black jeans, 
And then I'm gonna throw on this Adidas Sporty and Rich shirt that I got in New York. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Okay, and then I'm gonna add like some ribbon at the end. I got this maroon ribbon. Okay, that's so cute. Also, look at how the nails turned out. I think they, they look great. They look like I just spent two hours at the salon and they're like kind of shimmery too, so. Do you guys see Peaches and Lola back there? They literally sit on the windowsill all day and just stare out my window. Let me show you guys the fall goodies I got. I also got some fall flowers that are sitting in my sink. But I swear I've never seen this before. I didn't even realize this was a live plant. It's like mini pumpkins on a stem. Does anyone know what this is called? Because I have no idea what it is, but it's adorable. Oh, it's called pumpkin tree. So they obviously had the full fall selection out. I got some repeat stuff and I got some new stuff. On the topic of yummy food for fall, I wanted to take this time to tell you guys about Factor. If you feel like you're too busy this fall to cook every meal at home, but you wanna keep up with your nutrition goals, then Factor is the perfect company for you guys to check out. Factor is a company that makes meeting your nutrition goals super easy by delivering fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals straight to your door. And I love it because if you have specific ones, wellness goals that you're trying to meet, you can tailor your factor meals to what you want. So if you want a calorie conscious option, protein packed option, I personally chose plant-based. I personally don't ever want to sacrifice my nutrition or my overall well-being just because I'm busy or running around. So factor makes it so easy to make sure that I'm getting in my vitamins and my nutrition and my food groups because they have formulated these meals to keep you going throughout your day. All you have to do is pop it in the microwave for two minutes, heat it up, and they're always fresh, never frozen, so they taste amazing. If you want to try out some nutritious meals from Factor, then you can go to factor75.com or use the link in the description and use code ONICA50 for 50% 50 off of your first box with Factor. Thank you so much to Factor for sponsoring this video. I got this like fall colored pasta. Maybe I can make like a pasta salad with it. I just thought the colors of it screamed autumn. I got more pumpkins <laughs> and then I got an orange one too. I got these pumpkin flavored Jojo's. Okay, let's taste test them because it just feels unfair to not give you guys a taste test. You guys should know I'm a cookie person. Choice dessert, always, always cookies for me. So when I saw these like cream filled little cookie sandwiches, this screams my name. They literally just taste like graham crackers. So it's kind of anticlimactic, but I don't really know what I was expecting. I mean, it's pretty good. It has like the fall spices. I would give this like a seven out of 10, nothing special. Then I got this pumpkin bread and muffin mix. Maybe we'll make this tonight. Some salsa for the chips. And the last thing I got was organic vegetarian chili. That's literally it for my fall haul. Now I'm gonna make breakfast. I'm gonna do egg English muffin sandwiches with some hash browns. This guy is a lifesaver for me when I'm trying to make egg sandwiches. breakfast i made a little egg and cheese with avocado breakfast sandwich one i toasted a hash brown from trader joe's and i poured myself some green juice all right guys before we start decorating i want to give you guys a little bit of a fall haul three things that i've ordered so first let's go through some skincare stuff. I don't have the packages because I threw them out when I was like cleaning my apartment, but I haven't even looked through this stuff because I did want to like go through it with you guys. So Verst sent me this, which is so cute. Thank you so much to Verst. And they sent me their new little like wrist cuffs. It's like skincare cuffs. Have you guys seen these? They're really smart. They like obviously go on your wrist and when you're washing your face, the water doesn't drip down like through your sleeve because that is the ickiest feeling in the world. And then they sent me like a new croissant headband and this one's like microfibery, which I really like. Purest antioxidant cleanser. And last is the Sweet Relief Overnight Barrier Balm. I love their moisturizers. Okay, next, 
We have some cardigans. I also don't have the package for these because I already took them out and tried them on, but I did want to show them to you. They are both from a brand called Rumored. Um, I always see their ads on Instagram. I don't think I've ever shopped from them before, but the quality from these two is amazing. They're big, chunky cable knit sweater, and I got this beige color. I love the look of like big knits on cardigans. Um, I think this one is sold out, but I like signed up for the email list to get like the email for when it came back in stock and they restocked it pretty quickly. So I just ordered it like when I got the email and then like literally on the exact same note, I got this other cardigan that's a chunky knit yellow one. And you guys know yellow was like my fave color for the summer. That's what the yellow one looks like. I know it does not match what I'm wearing underneath, but so cozy. I have no sweaters that are like oversized and chunky and like big like this. Last thing I got is a pair of slippers from Ugg. They're like the platform chunkier slipper. Very cute, very cozy. So I'm super excited to wear this and I like it because you can wear it out. Like it looks like a home slipper, but I think they're meant to be worn out because the bottom is like that really durable platform or sole. Basically those three items are like what I've ordered so far for this season. Um, before I decorate though, I kind of want some coffee. So I think to decorate and really get in the vibes, we need like a fall drink. I don't know what the drink of the video is gonna be. Should we do a dirty chai or should we do a pumpkin spice latte? The other day I tried a PSL iced, so good. Wait, actually I just had the idea that since I don't know what the drink should be, like what screams fall more right now, I'm gonna ask you guys on Instagram <laughs> to help me pick. Okay. I posted it, we'll see what y'all pick. Let me give you guys the quick outfit of the day. The top I have on, I think I showed you, it's the Adidas Sporty and Rich t-shirt that I got when I was in New York and I went to their store. And then I have on these black Calvin Klein jeans. It has that cool embroidery on the back. And I have on these black Kith Converse. Very casual, but cozy. Iced PSL one on the pole. So that is what I came to get. It's really good and it does taste way better iced. Now that we've got our beverage and we're caffeinated, let's go decorate. So I have the rest of my fall decor here. Okay, I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna arrange everything here and then we can put it away. This is the rest of the fall decor. Lots of pumpkins, so let's put it away. Okay guys, let me show you some of the updates and like the tiny pieces that I added to the apartment for autumn. Starting with my room. So I added that pillow. I like how the yarn on the pumpkin matches like the yarn on those big throw pillows. I think that looks cute. And then I added this little iridescent white pumpkin. Lola. Oh my gosh. Lola, you wanna show them your pumpkin? <laughs> For out here, I made a tiny white pumpkin patch. So I think it looks cute. I didn't know if I wanted to put it all together or separate. I just have it separate for now, but added some pieces to the couch, the orange throw, the pumpkins. The pumpkins are last year from Kirkland's. A throw over here and another little iridescent pumpkin. And then for up here, I added this like pumpkin tower, some little white pumpkins in the bowl and a light up one right there. And then, and then this really cool jack-o-lantern that I got last year at Home Goods. And I put some like light up candles from Sam's in it. So they'll go on every day, which is pretty cool. And of course the fall lo-fi. I love how cozy that is. And then I put some yellow flowers in that vase. I love the way that looks. And then I just decided to put the pumpkin tree over here. I honestly just didn't know what to do with it. It was much taller than I expected. Um, so I just tried to make a little arrangement right there. And then over here in the kitchen, I also put that there. So now all that there's really left to do is light 
Some fall candles make it extra cozy in here. I'm gonna change into some comfier clothes and get ready for the evening. It's currently 6.15. So I have finished two books since the last time that we chatted. Okay, the last two books I finished that I haven't talked to you about are The Bodyguard by Catherine Center, which is a contemporary romance, and None of This is True by Lisa Jewell. I finished this on the plane to New York. I gave it five stars. This was such a good book. I enjoyed it so, so much. What this book is about is it follows these two women named Alex and Josie, um, and these women meet under like some pretty coincidental circumstances, which kind of brings them together. But what's eerie and creepy about the whole thing is Josie is very weird and she kind of lures Alex into like this weird scheming plan that she has going on. And then they start a podcast together because Alex is like a podcaster. And so she starts like a spinoff series with Josie chatting about Josie's life. But along the way, Josie becomes obsessively attached to Alex and her life and her family and Josie's family back home when they explain it is so weird and so eerie like there's so many creepy things going on in her house the way that she explains Josie is I think perfect it made me feel the exact amount of like creepiness and also like intrigue with her life because it was so odd um, that I wanted to keep reading and I just think Lisa Jewell is really good at like conveying that like the, the eeriness in book without making it like outwardly creepy like she just does subtle things and includes subtle details that you're like that's weird so this book had me hooked I loved it the plot twists were good I think it's a super good mystery book for the spooky season and then this book I just finished last night which is The Bodyguard by Catherine Center it is a contemporary romance book and it's about this woman named Hannah and she is a bodyguard and basically gets a job to be security for this famous actor whose name is Jack Stapleton. Or is it Singleton? No, Stapleton, like Chris Stapleton. She gets contracted to be his bodyguard, but then they have to like fake date. He's basically back home in Texas visiting his mom because his mom was diagnosed with cancer, but then she's like in remission and he's helping her like heal and everything, but he's like this world famous actor. I felt like he was giving like Tom Cruise vibes, like just like very A-list Hollywood actor, does his own stunts type of thing. Him and Hannah fake date, so he doesn't have to tell his mom that he needs a bodyguard so he doesn't worry her. And I'm sure you can guess where it goes from there. I've never read any of her books. The writing was so good. I loved it. Like I just connected with her writing so much and the characters so, so much. And like, it's not that long. I just feel like lately I've been reading romance books that have been misses for me, but I feel like she didn't drag anything out. Characters were so likable. Like both of them were so likable. And that's just how I know that like a book, especially romance is five stars for me. Like, if I like think about the characters and I'm like, oh my gosh, I love them and like I wish I knew them and I also really liked it because there was like some kind of like mystery points to it and then like towards the end the plot twist I was shook last night reading it the only thing I didn't really like was the epilogue I felt like it was way too long I feel like there's kind of something cool about like an element of mystery like without an epilogue like not every book needs like a really long epilogue like sometimes it's just good to end it when it ends you know I just thought it wasn't super necessary but that's literally personal preference because you might love the epilogue and sometimes I do. That's it for like the books I've recently finished. So I thought I could give you guys like some rapid fire books that are on my fall TBR and then we can pick my next read. So let me grab some. Okay, let's go through it. Wait, I literally just realized this is all fantasy. So wait, no, there's one thriller in here. First we have Once Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Garber. I wish I could tell you what these are about guys, but like I haven't read them, obviously. So I just know this is a very, very, very well-loved fantasy. It's like a sister series to the Care of All trilogy. It looks like it's about Evangeline and the love of her life is going to marry another person. So she strikes a deal with the Prince of Hearts to try and like stop that. And then things get crazy, so. Next we have Good Girl Bad Blood by Holly Jackson. This is the second book in the Good Girl's Guide to Murder series and it gives me very much Pretty Little Liars. 
like literally high schoolers investigating murder, but like mixed with drama. So I loved that aspect of it. It's YA, but it's like a mystery. And I think this one, she is, I don't know. It looks like she started a true crime podcast. I have no idea. And she's gonna solve another murder, maybe. Next two, I know nothing about. So don't even ask me the summary, but if you love them, you'll recognize them. I have Fourth Wing and Divine Rivals. Divine Rivals is by Rebecca Ross and Fourth Wing is by Rebecca Yaros. Wow, they're both Rebecca's. Okay, they're both fantasy. And I think this one's enemies to lovers. I could be completely wrong. I think these are like at the front of my TBR because I want to read these so bad. I've heard so many good things. They're like current trending books. So I really want to read them because I feel like I always read popular books like so long after they're not trending anymore. And then lastly, I just know this one's gonna make y'all go crazy and you're gonna pick this for me to read. So this one is A Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah J Mass. Classic. We, we all know what this is. It is a probably one of the most, if not the most, like well-known, well-loved fantasy series. It follows this girl named Feyre and her journey throughout the land of Haifei and her encounters with them, her love triangles with them, just so much craziness, so much. It's so good. I have read the first two books in the series. There is three more left, including this one. So this is the last book about Feyre. So that's literally why I put it off because I have been like waiting to savor this book. And I seriously think it's, I think it's time. It's because I want to start other fantasy series, but I don't want to be specifically in the middle of Akatar. Like I want to finish the series because it's so big. And I feel like if I get completely out of the mindset of it, it's going to be hard for me to get back into it. for dinner with like this fall colored pasta. Now to make the dressing for the pasta salad. Here's dinner guys. I tried to make it fall-ish with like the colorful all colored pasta. <laughs> pasta, tomato, red onion, cucumber, mozzarella balls, and then like a homemade dressing, but it was super easy to make. So I'll have that link down below. I'm gonna try and make this pumpkin bread that I bought. I've never made any type of like bread loaf before. This scent from Target is so good. It smells like pumpkin, but not too, not too overpowering. Now I'm gonna journal a bit. You all would be happy to know that I've actually been journaling consistently. That's been like such a goal of mine. And I think I talked in my last fall video about how I was really 
trying to prioritize my mental health so i started journaling every day again and it's helped so much i feel like it just really helps me with like self-reflection and in turn i become more like have more like affirmations towards myself which is super helpful for me um so i've been doing it pretty much every day except for the days when i was traveling but i'm just gonna do that oh my gosh guys look at peaches always every day never fails her or lola are sitting by my windowsill just like people watching out the window all day and for anyone that's like new here or if you just don't know peaches actually isn't my dog she's my mom's dog and i just like dog sit her when my mom is really busy <laughs> Pumpkin bread is so good. I'm just gonna nibble on it while I read. I downloaded A Court of Wings and Ruin onto my Nook. So I'm gonna read it on here. I prefer to read on like my e-reader at night because it's just easier. But I'm like 20 pages in. I'm still getting used to the writing and like the whole storyline again and getting back into it. But I can already feel myself like getting excited about it. So I'm very excited to keep reading. Let's see where this goes. Mm -hmm. 